Tonight, we're exactly one week from Election Day. Among the candidates and other options on the ballot is the Perrysburg School Levy. Tyler Paley breaks down just how do or die the district's funding situation is in an exclusive sit-down interview with Superintendent Tom Hostler. It's down to crunch time for folks in Perrysburg. Just seven days remain until a decision that could have massive effects on the public school system. Since 2008, the district has grown 21%. Um, and so when you hear about a number like 21%, it's like, well, what does that mean? Well, that's 976 students. The growth in students hasn't come with more funding, though. That's why district leaders say new taxpayer dollars aren't a want, but a dire need, or else there will be cuts. When I looked at this presentation, to me, it looked like kind of the end of a world, end of the world type scenario. I, I just want to list some of the right. things that were included. Right. 128 jobs lost. Athletics, drama clubs, band take major hits. The removal of a secretary here at the central office, meaning less security. Uh, reduction of music, special ed teachers. A reduction of a college advisor and more pay to play. Just right. some of those right. things. Right. Is it really this critical? It is. It's devastating. I mean, working to put together that plan um, was... I mean, it, it was one of the worst exercises that anybody could do. For Hostler and other supporters of this operational levy here in Perrysburg, it seems like a no-brainer, an obvious choice to get out of a worst-case scenario. But that's not the feeling on all sides. It's being touted as an emergency, and my father used to say failure to plan on your part is not an emergency on my part. Um, I think they've known this growth is coming. They've been a deficit for a while. Um, I think it's too large. Tonight, it's unclear which side will claim victory in a week's time. It's a battle we'll continue to follow until polls are closed. In Perrysburg tonight, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11.